Yesterday was the 20th anniversary of Corey Stringer's death, the Warren native turned NFL lineman who died from exertional heat exhaustion. But in death, Corey Stringer left a legacy that lives on in most every football practice that was held today. The rigors of playing football in the heat. During today's interview with Warren Harding head football coach Steve Arnold, the legacy of Corey Stringer could be heard in the background with the blowing of whistles. What's your policy now for giving guys breaks and drinking water, et cetera? Well, it's very apropos right now. We're going to give them a water break right now. So every 10, 15 minutes, they're getting a water break. The players gathered around the familiar green bottles, squeezing water into their mouths. On the turf of Mollenkopf Stadium, where Stringer played high school football, water breaks is how he's being remembered. I think sometimes through people's death, you know, we learn from it. There uh, is a lot of research coming out of the, the Corey Stringer Institute now. Dr. John Jardine is medical director of the Corey Stringer Institute at the University of Connecticut. It was started in 2010 through the efforts of Stringer's widow, his agent, and the NFL. With, again, keeping both athletes and active populations, meaning, you know, occupational workers, military workers, you know, safe, uh, especially in the heat, and safe in doing what they do. Dr. Jardine says the NFL and NCAA get it, but in some parts of the country, there are still high schools that need to be taught how to deal with heat. So we are going, you know, sometimes state to state, high school to high school to, to get the message out and to get the message out that, that there are ways to protect these kids and that, you know, certainly people don't have to die from exertional heat stroke. Coach Arnold was asked if he was aware 20 years ago of the dangers of heat. Not like I am now, no. The death of Corey Stringer changed football. You know, his passing has changed the way people approach two-a-days in practice. How so? You're more cognizant of heat, water breaks, uh, maybe guys that are heavier. The Corey Stringer Institute has these recommendations for all coaches. They should be trained in CPR, first aid, and AED use. They should be trained to recognize serious injuries and emergencies. They should have an emergency action plan that is practiced, and all coaches should be certified by the National Federation of State High School Associations.